I am making this video to commemorate the 18th birthday of my beloved Zooter scooter, which I have been using for so many different things over the years. I have flown around the world with it. I shop around with it. The scooter has been taken into a gr great number of movie theaters, of restaurants, of shops. It weighs 11 pounds. It, it's just a great product. And I have another video on the same topic from years back. And this is going to be a bit more detailed looking into why I think such a great this is such a great item to get for almost anybody whether you're a teenager or an adult if you're new on this channel this channel is all about small wheel rideables scooters bicycles motorcycles even cars I'm on several platforms all of my content is on rumble most of it is also on YouTube and on Odyssey as well so if you're interested you might want to follow this channel if you click on the link below you go to my shopping page and there is a button there that takes you to my scooter recommendations as you can see I recommend a number of them there is a really beautiful handmade electric variety it's very heavy very fast that's not the one I'm going to talk about today this video is about this one it's about the Zooter and I'm going to touch upon the main competition which is the GoPad as well but let me just start out to say where I am after 18 years of urban riding and this is where the scooter is I apologize for the somewhat blurry low light uh, footage but you can see but first of all you can see that I replaced the grips and I will say a few words about grips you can see that these are top of the line ergon grips almost entirely made of natural materials this wooden part is cork I believe it is Spanish cork the end of it is aluminum and there's a little bit of little bit of plastic on top and on the back of it as well I think ergon could really make an effort to make it a hundred percent organic natural materials but even this way it's definitely the best grip out there and now you can see the bottom of my scooter this is not the original deck the original deck was the narrow so-called Roma model or Roma deck it's kind of fast because it's very narrow so you kick you're kicking not far away but the problem is it's very uncomfortable and on this type of scooter you're gonna be spending most of your time gliding not kicking unless you bought the scooter for exercise if you want to do some hardcore exercise you can you can even grow some muscles on on the Roma or basically on any of them but the Roma I guess is a narrow deck it's it's made for speed more than the others so you can see that the second deck was sealed in there and you can see the glue still in there I think the deck was replaced right in the first year because the narrow deck was just so painful on my feet it was really not not pleasant and this is the second wheel in the rear not nothing else has been replaced on this scooter except the wheel and the deck because I wanted a different deck there was nothing wrong with the quality of the workmanship I just wanted to change styles and so this is the second wheel in it because I step on the wheel to brake I use the step down method as well but I typically step on the wheel which means sometimes you're gonna have to replace the wheel I think one wheel lasts on me for about a decade so I don't think it's a big deal but you can see at the bottom that this object has been bumped against the curb quite a number of times so this is a the the deck itself is not strong enough it's made if it's made of aluminum to to hold up the weight of a person and the company is claiming absolutely outrageous weight range they claim that they give you a lifetime warranty up to 800 pounds of weight I have yet to meet a person who weighs more than 800 pounds so I think you're gonna be okay you can see this deck it's no longer available you can see that the front of it is wide enough for you to put two of your feet next to each other and just glide 
which is so helpful and so comfortable I cannot begin to tell you and there are these cutouts to reduce the weight the whole scooter is no more than 11 pounds which means it's less than half the weight of the average Brompton bicycle even if you buy um, even if you buy the highest quality five thousand uh, dollar ultra lightweight Brompton I don't think it's gonna go below 18 or 17 pounds even if you remove this the, the gears from it so so this is an astonishingly low weight vehicle it's mechanical you see the pin this is the only moving area here this is the the old design of the pin from 18 years ago and the whole thing opens up around this screw over here you see that it is very um, it is a very slim it's a very slim object and it folds in a in a very tight and very slim way which is better than than what you get from the go pad and I will get to the go pad eventually but the design is beautiful and if you look at this front end curve this is because if this this is the kind of design you have seen on shopping carts this is because if you push this design this way like on most of the bicycle and you hit the bump it's going to be pretty rigid and you're going to feel the hit but if you push it the other way around this thing is going to get around the, the bump it's going to flex so it's, it's going to have a softer ride and this is really a g an ingenious design which I have not seen on any scooter or bicycle quite like this you can also see that I removed the brake I think the original brake which is still being sold is a very bad idea it doesn't do much of anything it brushes up against the, the dirt that's on the tire it's not gripping the the wheel from the two sides but on the top so it's just it's not good looking and it doesn't do much of anything it's not a good brake so I removed it the wheel is the original 18 year old wheel I have never done anything to it I don't oil it I just wet wipe this whole scooter clean at the end of each day if it's used so I take a wet piece of uh, clean cotton rag and I wipe the whole scooter that's the maintenance and you see it's clean it's completely functional after 18 whole years of usage the rear wheel it still has plenty of tire on it it's a little bit more worn looking than the front because I use it for braking I don't even think braking in the front is such a good idea when you when you're on a scooter that is a short wheel based item you're standing up like a chimney always gonna even if the front brake really worked well if you push it hard you're, you're, you're gonna just end up falling on your face and it's kind of an intricate design the whole the whole scooter is made up of sheets of aluminum which are hand cut and polished and assembled in a town in eastern Pennsylvania in the US it has a kind of Germanic touch to it because it's so intricate and so precisely and intricately engineered so maybe this Pennsylvanian who started the company might be uh, some Swiss or German derived American now this is one scooter that came out this scooter fell out it did not do anything to the functionality of the scooter the latch was still functional it would still allow me to adjust the, this bar so I had it reinstalled by the the, the dealer this little sc uh, screw or you can just get one if you lose it and you screw it in yourself but it's not a big deal and honestly there has not been a repair uh, or maintenance of any sort on the scooter except for the rear wheel that had to be replaced because the old one was getting worn um, the grips I installed myself these grips themselves are about a decade old and I use them on my Brompton as well I have a little Brompton bag on the front I do recommend using a bag because you always have some stuff you, you have some cell phone or cash credit cards um, YPs whatever whatever you need sometimes I use the little battery light I'm not use not currently using it I don't use the scooter for night riding 
but you can fit that on the front and in the rear you can put one on your backpack or on your belt so I'm very happy with the product it is an excellent excellent product hands down one of the best rideable in any category that you could buy and you could buy them from Amazon or you could buy them from Zooter and I'm gonna take a look at what they are offering now and first of all what I had was this one the Roma back in 2005 this was $250 so prices have moved on in two decades but not outrageously this this is I actually don't recommend it it's an aluminum deck and it needs support at the bottom and if you you have more aluminum object at the bottom what's going what's going to happen is it's going to raise the deck so if you look at this deck you're gonna you're gonna end up raising this deck by two inches and the higher the deck the harder it's gonna be to kick the scooter so I don't recommend this design if you want something narrow and sporty get this this is a magnesium a magnesium deck it doesn't need as much support or actually no wait a minute it does have some support but in any case it's a hundred dollars left or less so I would go with this one yeah it does have some support magnesium is a stronger material so hopefully it's less less of a lift you want to be as close to to the ground as possible but you do have quite a bit of support here too still this is my choice if you want speed only if you want speed if you want comfort this is hands down the number one this is a magnesium deck other than the deck all of the other parts are the same for all of the scooters and you see it does have a little bit of support at the bottom but not much it's really very low on the ground it's not being raised too far up so it's it's easier to to push and a very nice and neat fold very nice it also has this mud guard in the rear which I think is good it's good to have on the front you are protected because of this design so you're not gonna get any mud on your clothing so this one is my recommendation for comfort these narrow decks with the, this magnesium looking possibly just colored aluminum narrow decks if you want it for sport but keep in mind these decks are going to be real uncomfortable for long periods of time you cannot um, stand normally with the two feet next to each other because you have no space so your torso is going to be twisted as you stand on it not a fun way to ride and then there is another comfort um, item this was their first design it is also just like the magnesium very wide and very comfortable but it looks cool because it it's made of the wood it's not a high quality wood it's just a layered particle wood but it, it's a very attractive design this was actually the very first and it was only two hundred dollars it is now nearly twice as expensive as it was before and you can see the brake which I would remove it's not even an attractive brake it doesn't do much of anything it's just rubbing against the dirt it was kind of an afterthought idea <clears throat> the rear is where you should brake and it's fairly easy to do so the grips I would definitely remove they are not my choice so these would be good choices depending upon what you want the one I would not choose would be this one it's the same as the wooden deck but it's made of aluminum and um, I just don't see it as attractive as the wooden deck and if you want something made out of metal then get the magnesium white deck which is lower this one this one is probably the king of the zooters it's the best of them I do recommend that you upgrade the grip if you want if you want to add height which is actually a good idea if you're a taller person I would say if you're over 5859 then you may want to raise this a little bit just for comfort and if you want to do that the easiest way to do it is with the big grip from Argon this is the GP5 which is now available partially in cork 
when I bought mine it was all plastic so I don't have the cork version but I have this this big one it's currently on my Brompton and this is the one I had the, the old plastic one it's on my Brompton right now I used to use it with the Zooter as well and it's really a good way to go it's an expensive grip this is the most expensive design and it's 90 bucks or if you want to save 10 bucks get the plastic one I think it's nice for Mother Earth to spend an extra ten dollars it gets something a bit more environmentally conscious this is the one I have on the Zooter right now this is only 50 bucks because it is just a straight bar end you don't have that uh, that uh, uplifted end bar or bar end like when the, on the GP5 now make sure that when you order this don't get the one that is short it's so uncomfortable this is for bikes that don't have much space on the right side because they have a shifter built into the grip so it's for those kind of bikes even then it's not very comfortable you want to get this one the full size width and because the the handlebar is so narrow a grip is pre pretty much going to take up the entire width if this is a problem or if you want to attach some light or something then you might want to buy a handlebar attachment to, to load anything in the front. I only have a bag, which is fine. Certainly does. It does everything. One competitor that is worthy of mention, and that is the GoPad. You can see that the GoPad is kind of a more tubular, more simple design. It is very sturdy. I mean, the Zooter is strong, but the GoPad is stronger. You can see that it has it has a a front brake, which I think is really beneficial. Um, the way this thing grips the the wheels is just much much more noticeable than on the Zooter, and you have a rear brake as well, so you can brake in the rear and in the front at the same time. I have met some heavy people who did not like the Zooter and they switched over to the GoPad. I would say if you are over 5 foot 10 and weigh more than 180, 185 pounds, you may want to go with the go pad. I'm not crazy about this uh, this particle wood plate and the way it's decorated with this ugly go pad inscription. But other than that, you know, it's it's a beautiful classic design. And if you want to get upgrades. This old GoPad design has a kiloton of, of all kinds of decks and everything you can imagine, custom wheels made out of chromed metal. It's amazing what you can get online. Because this design has been around forever. And of course it lasts forever. You can buy replacement parts, you can replace every single thing on it. These metal... Um, plates are much better they look a lot better than this wooden go pad thing and you see people buying chromed wheels and all that <laughs> so the company by the way makes some really nice looking electric scooters as well but as much as I like the design the electronics the way it's engineered just does not stand up to the competition this is a bit like the Harley Davidson. People buy it because of the design and the looks and the feel of it. And then they do upgrades. So the technology is not really up to, up to date, but you can get upgrades. And as you can see, it, it does not fold in a very nice way. Oops. It, it's not, it's not a, a snug fold like you would get with the Zooter. It's not as cool. And that is important to a lot of people. It's important to me. I fly with my Zooter. I have flown quite a number of times. And the fold is just excellent. 11 pounds. It fits into anything. I have, I have used it for so many things. For shopping nearby. For skipping the taxi cab. The bus. The subway. I would say the money that this my Zooter cost me has been saved back several times over so if the cost of this thing would be 300 something dollars say 350 with taxes 
you would probably save that back on the taxi and, and the bus and everything in the, in the first three or four years. In 18 years, I probably made a profit. So I would not worry about the cost of either of these because they're going to they're gonna save you so much money. You can use them to shop in the neighborhood, to not have to drive everywhere, not have to take the cab everywhere. You can easily travel with them. They are very light and cost a fraction of a folding bike for something so light. So this is my 18-year review of my favorite uh, push scooter. Check out my resource page. I have other things also there. Obviously, an electric scooter would be a lot more expensive. It weighs several times as much. But what I recommend is based on solid research and experience. This is it for the Zooter 18th year anniversary video, and I'll see you in the next one.